What's going on, guys? Got a cool one for you today. I think you guys are going to like this. This actually looks like a structure on the hilltop. And when you see it, I think you'll agree. And there's some other crazy looking things like rocks will look like some kind of hieroglyphs on them. Uh, things are just out of place. Okay. Before we get started, if you're not subscribed to my Lunar Anomalies and Beyond page, please do so. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel and hit the bell on the side of it. This way you'll be notified of any new upcoming videos. And guys, I just had one here. You can see it's one day ago. It's probably almost two days by now, but uh, a lot of interesting stuff. And the reason why I do a lot of moon stuff too is because, again, I said this to begin with, there's a lot of crazy stuff that they're hiding on the moon and some things that it's obvious and they totally did not take out. My reasoning is this, if they hid stuff on the moon, okay, and try to block it out from the public from seeing it, that means a couple things. One, it was probably Oz and Top Secret, or it was not anyone's, meaning any human on this planet, put it there, then clearly it's alien. If they're going to hide that, you know darn good and well they're going to hide anything on Mars. So this is the reason why I have a balance of both, both Moon and Mars. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, you know, always appreciate it. You guys know that. And it gives you more content to see. All right. We're going to be looking at MSL 2783. It's another pan by my good friend Neville Thompson. Always does a great job on these. Uh, he's just one of a few that I really rank up uh, high up there. Uh, it does a great job. Now, we actually may do this pan, guys, on the live feed because this is pretty interesting. And I'm going to give you the link so you'll actually be able to go over this thing yourself and maybe be able to share some crazy things you've seen, right? Okay. Let's get into this. My biggest interest was over here on the right-hand side. This over here. Now, I'm going to show you this without even putting it into Photoshop, but we will just enhance it so you can see it much better, right? Okay. I'm looking at these group of rocks, you know. I don't believe they're all rocks. I highly doubt it at all because I can tell you right now there's one piece over here. Now, you do have these flat rocks over here, and I don't believe these are all real anyway. You can see just the way it's like, there's like these striations like they, and I don't mean like natural layered rock. I mean where it looks like paint brushed in, right? A uh, texture they put in. Uh, what I find interesting is, let's see if we can find it on this mound, because it is pretty cool. Right here. Now, look at this. Out of this randomness of pile of rocks and stuff like that, we got these two huge slabs sitting right on it. Now... If you notice, it's like something's actually, like something's been carved into it, and then this has been broken to pieces, right? Now, two things come to my mind when I see this. Either there's something else intelligently made, which is a very, very good possibility, and they made it look like stone, or they are flat stones, and look at this. It doesn't resemble anything at the top of this hill. Almost tells me it's structural. Like this top, this was a top of a structure, and it's been blown to pieces from the top. Now, you guys may have other ideas. Just drop them below. Let me know what you think. And uh, don't forget to look at these little fine little things right here, like this little square area right here in the middle of the screen with something right light colored. And look at the way this thing is shaped just underneath it. See this? Look at all the little pieces. Really good. But anyway, again, let's bounce to the right-hand side. Back way out. Go all the way over to the right. And again, as I'm looking this stuff over, I'm looking, I'm going, okay. I'll go with some of these things are rocks, you know, which I don't believe they all are. Um... It's just interesting pieces. This is what I decided to do. This area right here. Let's back out. Let's cover the whole area. This is what I decided to look at. Now, just the rocks, again, you're going to see like there's some, what looks like carvings or something in this rock. You can see it from here. Okay. Something on this rock here almost looks like it's, like it's got a pattern on it, right? Like it's almost like, like it's symmetrical almost. See that? way these are. I got these weird, like, faded out designs or whatever they, on these rocks. Again, I don't believe they're rocks, guys. We got this rock right here. Look at this. Goes up here. Goes across. Look at the shape of this so-called rock, and it's like sandwiched, or it's part of that same rock, or it's something that just happens to be perfectly in the back of it, meaning you can see the top. You don't see this top of this back one sticking up any higher. So what is it? And again, if you look at it, it's lacking detail. Now, it is a low-res photo. I get that. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't see any detail. Come on, guys. All right. So, there was another gentleman named Laszlo. Uh, I'm probably going to totally butcher his last name. Zabalix, I guess his name is. And he was on Martian Genesis, and he pointed this out here. Almost looks like a mini stairway or something like that. That was pretty interesting. Now, I was already checking out this pan because everybody else was checking out this pan, and he had discovered this. But that's not what stuck out for me, guys. I think that's really interesting, and I think it's cool. Um, some people have seen this. Looks like a like a 7 and a 2, which is really bizarre. That was not my find, but it might have been his as well. So I don't get the credit for that. So interesting finds. This is what I found. 
Let's go right up to this. What are we seeing in this corner? I'm seeing what looks like a corner, almost structural, looks like a perfectly 90 degree angle, right there, and may what look like a doorway. Dilapidated, but still a doorway. Something there that doesn't make any sense, right? Now, I'm not sure if this has been going over. It kind of looks like it has. See, this right here from this transition to this. It looks like they put some kind of, you know, texture over that. Now, what were they trying to hide? Were they trying to hide this? I don't know. We're going to really enhance this a little bit more and brighten this thing up, and you're going to see this a whole lot better, right? Again, we see these rocks, this big supposed boulder right there. I don't think it's a boulder, guys. The reason why I don't think it is, look at They forgot to take out this little white piece at the very bottom. See the way that thing is like, it looks like it's designed. And you can see this texture has been put over this. And it's almost like they just go over it real quick. And it doesn't matter whether you see that or not. Let's just go and that's it. Just dress it up and, and, and go. Um, another interesting pattern on the ground here. Look at this. What is that right there in the middle of the screen? Right there. Look at the way that thing is. It's kind of like a spoked item uh, in the dirt or whatever it might be, right? Again, you guys can give me your take on it, what you think. All right. Let's jump into this because I found this pretty interesting. And like I said, guys, I didn't have to do anything to this. Look at this. What are you kidding me? That to me looks like a doorway with a, a nice 90 degree overhang, something there. Now, I don't know if they did that to just try to block something else out. And inadvertently, they kind of brought something else out or they never covered it up correctly. Let's get into that. Go ahead and do that. Again, thank you, Neville Thompson, for doing that. Let's jump into this. So right off the bat, guys, I try to just make it slightly clearer. Okay, and then we're going to take the color of this, this trash, right? Let's do this. All right. Something a little bit more pleasing to the eyes, and a lot, and it looks a lot better, right? Uh, this is the way Photoshop really sees it, as opposed to this. And all I had to do is go like this, guys. Look at this. Just hit the auto contrast. That's it. Didn't do anything special to it. That's the way Photoshop sees this photo, okay? All right. So let's have a look up at the top. Check this out. Top corner. I'm going to enhance this a little bit more, and then I'm going to show you some outlined areas that we're looking at. So let's keep going with this. Let's brighten up, get rid of some of the shadowing and the dark areas. Check this out. See that? And guys, it's just right there. I mean, here it is. That's all I did to it. Enhance it up a little bit. Okay. And some of the things that are in this photo, come on. Look at this. Again, we've got this rock over here, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. With these two right here, you got one on the right. I'm going to put them right in the center. One on the left, one on the right. You have what looks like some kind of etchings, drawing, something or other. Or is it just nothing more than the texture of the rock? Again, you guys be the judge. Okay? Let's keep going. So I started to try to bring it down a different way and see if we can find anything else in here. Okay. All right. Now, let's show the outline piece of this and see what we've got. Let me just back up. We're going to brighten it back up, and I'm going to show you either circle, outline some things, and here we go. To me, I was just like, these are the things that kind of puzzled me. Now, there's more in here. Don't get me wrong. But the things that stood out the most, the one here in the middle, Look at the drawings in here. Here's the original. Oh, well, there's the original. This is slightly shopping. And then we've got this here. Okay. The lines are there. You can clearly see that. They're there. All we do is just brought them out as best we can. But they're there. Okay. The one on the right-hand side of this right here. Put it right in the center. Look at the actual piece in it. It almost looks symmetrical. One that's on the left where the arrow is. And then to the right almost looks similar, right? Pretty interesting. As far as I'm concerned, we've got this rock, as we said, here in the back. You can see it right there. But you'll notice, see, again, let's bring the brightness down, put all the pukey color all over it, and guess what? If you think it's all shade, which some of it is, don't get me wrong, but does that mean that there shouldn't be no detail in this rock? No. There should be detail in it. I don't care how low res, as sloppy as it may be, you should see some kind of detail. We can see it in these other rocks. And if you try to go over that, you'll just burn a thing. It'll just look black. It will not actually burn. It will not bring anything out. Okay. We've got these objects on the top of the hill. 
Not sure what to make of these either. Look at this. What is that? There's two of them, almost the same shape, right there. Thought that was pretty interesting, right? Now, the doorway in the corner, I call it a corner structure. Um, check this out, okay? And the reason why I got that green right in the center of the quote-unquote door is because it has some kind of weird dark area right there. See that? So I wanted to point that out, and that's why the best way to do it is just put a little circle. But it almost looks like it has this cross pattern. It goes across halfway down the door, and it looks like it's got a seam right down the center of it, right? So when we enhance it and brighten it up, this is what we see. See that? And, of course, you get this other piece right here on the left-hand side of it, right there. And look at the bottom of this stone, this rock. Almost like there's a crawl space or something like that underneath it. See that? Now, it may be nothing, but maybe something they did to the photo to try to block it out. Very good possibility. And that's what we're seeing. But just some of the stuff we see here, like down to the left of that door, this weird piece coming down right there in the middle of the screen. Check that out. What are we seeing here, guys? This looks like some kind of structure on the corner. Like, like, and this may not have been a corner. This, the rest of it is on the right-hand side. It might have been blown to pieces. And this door would have been right in the middle of whatever that is. Because you can clearly see some kind of other stone or something laying on the side of it, right? So, what is that? Even way at the top here. Looks like some kind of round piece. Has some flat pieces or edges around it. And there's this lighter round piece right there at the top. See that? Put that right in the middle. What do you guys suppose that is? Either way, guys, what are we looking at here? I believe this is a structure, and I've been saying that for quite some time. What you're seeing here is rocks, or at least they want you to believe that. I don't believe it is for one minute, and if it is rocks, it could be just stone, and it's the way it was built. And all I got to do is just put this goofy little pattern on here, right in here, in the center of the screen. Just block it, make it look like it's just blocks. Well, in actuality, it could be something that's on the left-hand lower corner, actual slabs, and not this kind of layered rock like they want you to believe that it is because it's it's easy for them to just block this out than to show you anything else right common sense would tell you that and again when you see these little white pieces down here at the bottom yeah they screwed up and didn't take the thing completely out i believe this is intelligently made i believe it's some kind of structure that has been totally decimated and we're seeing just parts of it why else would we see what looks like a door and a nice perfectly cut 90 degree angle again this may be a manipulation but still, somehow they didn't block it out. Anyway, as usual, drop your comments and thoughts below, guys. I need to know what you guys are seeing as well, right? Don't forget to please like and share the video. That's what gets it out. And give me a thumbs up. It is appreciated. If you're new to the channel and you like what you're seeing, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell on the right-hand side so you'll be notified of any new videos coming out. And all my subs here from Mars Anomalies and Beyond, if you haven't yet jumped over to Lunar Anomalies and Beyond, please do so. It just gives you more subject matter to watch. And again, don't forget to subscribe to that, as well as hit that bell, and always give me a thumbs up. It is appreciated. It helps YouTube actually share these videos. Anyway, guys, got more moon videos coming up, as well as Mars. Stay tuned for that. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated, and I'll see you in the next one.